today's intro, I'm going to speak like an English tourist who is slowly explaining stuff to someone in a different language. In today's video, we are going to be making farms. Lots of farms, as we need farms. Yeah. Please subscribe. The button is below. Very good. Also, leave a like if you enjoy the video. Thank you. That's right, we're on episode 5 of our survival world and we've already built so much including this castle which is floating from last time as well as our village and much much more. And it all looks quite pretty doesn't it? But not a lot of it is practical. The castle is practical as we have our iron farm inside providing us with some iron. There's, there's much more in this chest by the way, it's not doing terribly I promise. We have our sugarcane hole. I don't really know what to call it, but it's full of sugar cane. But apart from that, nothing else is really that practical. We're going to change that today. I'm going to keep building farms until I run out of ideas of things I need to farm. And the first thing I need to farm is gunpowder. We're constantly running low on rockets and we only have one gunpowder. That's not good. So we're going to be doing a lot of practical building today of ugly farms. But don't worry, we'll sprinkle some pretty stuff in between. And although I said we need gunpowder, I'm going to do an all mob farm. As I've built so many creeper farms in the past and they're just a pain to build so I can't be bothered. Before we start, a little update. We're on day 318 with two and a half days played. So what do we need for this mob farm? A lot of slabs, a decent amount of water buckets, a load of hoppers, some dispensers, some observers, soul campfires, redstone stuff. I need a sticky piston, which means I need slime. This is the worst swamp ever, but let's wait till night and hope. Aha, exactly the amount I needed. And that is all you need. Now what we have to do is build this thing. And it, it's, it's gonna take a while. Oh my gosh. And it's gonna look ugly. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna do it actually out at sea next to our sugarcane farm here. Far enough away from our iron farm though. And I might decorate this in the future, but for now, I don't care about decorations. I care about getting materials. Let's get building, baby. So we're using a design by Gamer Corey. I will link it in the description. A pretty simple all mob farm, though. You've probably seen designs like this before. Basically, the water flushes out the mobs that spawn on the platforms, and that's it. It's really quite simple. But the question, is it working? Well, let's stand here for a few seconds, and then we can go into the replay mod and have a look and see. I hope it is. Oh, gosh. I hope it is. All right, so the water should flush out all the mobs, as you can see here. It's already flushed a load down. There's a few spawning. Doesn't look like there's any spawning at this level, though. Why is there no spawning at this level? And they, are they just disappearing? Have I built the thing too high? Oh, no, they're spawning. But, oh, yeah, I built it too high. None of the stuff. This is why you test these things. I would have been getting nothing. Look, they all just disappear. Watch. Disappeared. <laughs> so let's move this AFK platform down a little bit. About five blocks or so. Should be good. And let's see if it's working now. All right, the moment of truth. They're going in. Look at them all. Yes, they're in the fire. They're all dying. Stuff must be getting collected here. That's good. Wow, we're sending in a lot of them, isn't it? Kind of getting a bit trapped. But it's working. It's working. It's not perfect as a farm, I don't think. There's probably better ways to do this. But it's just me alone in the world here. I don't need a massive abundance of anything. So I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and we're going to see how much stuff we get in that time. Standing on a platform, doing nothing but standing on that platform while I wait for 30 minutes. Wow, that took around 30 minutes. And this is probably the moment I find out it's not been working or collecting anything. Oh, nope, it's definitely working. Okay. Yes. I have gunpowder. I'm so excited. I finally don't have to worry about rockets. Now, this isn't probably like the best rates for any farm, to be honest. It'll do for now. I might make a creep one in the future if I need TNT or something. I could do this now if I wanted to, <laughs> but I'm not going to. That's wasteful. One farm down. But anyway, it's time for everybody's favorite segment. That's right. It's Joel Goes. Joel goes mining! I'm going mining. Yes, that's right. We're trying to get ourselves 64 diamonds each episode at least. So by the end, we'll have a full stack. Let's head down 
into the mine. Let's get it. Isn't strip mining fun? Just kidding, it's not. I miss the days of beacon mining where you could just mine stone like it was butter, but it doesn't melt anymore. It's stupid deep slate. Let's plop these in there with the extra six as well and use our magic redstone. Wow, light it up, crazy. And title it episode five. Look at that, diamonds are coming in. Guess we should probably make another farm now. So for our next farm, we have a few ways of getting emeralds at the moment. We can trade with our villagers iron from our iron farm, rotten flesh from our new all mob farm, or we can harvest our crops here and trade those with some farmers. Well, I could do that, or what I could do is make a pumpkin and melon farm as uh, they are much quicker. And speaking of melons, we have literally every other crop in the game planted, so why no melons? Let's do that now. Let's make a quick field. Give me some melons. Clear out annoying trees. Clear up some ground. Lays down some new ground. Link up the pathway. Clear out all the stupid grass. Place down some walls and some leaves. Place down all the water. You don't actually have to do it like this. I don't know why I am. Cover up the water with some slabs. And finally, hoe the ground and plant the seeds. And voila! We have another crop field sorted to add to our collection. And we have now collected them all. Lovely. But those really are just there to look pretty, aren't they? I could mine them if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Instead, I'm going to make a pumpkin and melon farm. And we're actually going to put it right here. I said I was going to put a barn here. But I think what we'll do instead is build a pumpkin and melon farm and put a barn around it. Material gathering is boring. Should we just cut to the time lapse? Yeah. It's a pumpkin and melon farm. You've seen them all before. It just makes pumpkins and melons for us. They fall on the floor. No, they don't. They actually fall into the hopper. As you can see, I've decorated it as well with this nice bit of oak wood here and this dirt. It's looking rather nice indeed, especially with these jack-o'-lanterns. I love it. Just kidding, of course. Let's build something around the outside of this. Now, I said a barn. That soon changed. I don't know why. I just didn't fancy doing a barn. Instead, I did some sort of weird tower that sort of encapsulated this entire pumpkin and melon farm and just looks quite nice and if we fly up and have a look yeah that adds to the area quite nicely just on top of the hill there very cool very cool and that is another farm complete for our next farm we're gonna head to the nether but not to build a gold farm oh no no a wither skeleton farm how you doing arthur and molly you good living that farming life good now, I've never built a wither skeleton farm before, but there's a great tutorial from Ian XO4 where you don't have to spawn proof it, which if you didn't know, most wither farms in the past, you had to place down loads of pressure plates or slabs or whatever, and it took forever. So this should be a lot quicker. So I'm wandering around collecting up the materials I need for this thing. I've got most of them in the shulker over here, but I also need a cobweb. And I know there's one in a mesa over here. Woo! How do you get cobwebs? Is it just silk touch? No. Ah, you scary woman. I also need 58 obsidian, so guess I gotta get mining. I've got 33. The final thing I need are some turtle eggs, and then we are good to go. Wait, that's the first time I've bred animals, and it's turtles? I need to sort out my priorities. I've built a castle. How many? How many have you laid? I need four. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, time to go build this thing. We're heading to the nether. This may go horribly wrong. We'll see. One thing I do need is a lot of never bricks. So we're going to clear out one of these towers here. Brrr, it's cleared. Nicely done, me. Okay, now I need to find a never fortress in a soul sand valley. I found one, but it's rubbish. After a while of searching, I'm like 4,000 blocks away. I think I finally found the perfect one. I am just getting constantly shot by blazes. It is a massive pain. But let's see if we can build this farm. My gosh, this is annoying. But after a few painful minutes of gas constantly shooting me, we managed to place down our platform. However, we did run out of never bricks. So I went to go get some down below in the fortress. And uh, yeah, got surrounded by some wither skeletons here. And I think you know what's coming. Yeah, I died. I am so annoyed. This is possibly the most annoying thing I've ever built. The blazes alone are so stupid. No, I just tacked that out of fear. This is, this is, this is my hell. I know I'm making a spawning platform, but my gosh. Oh, my boots are broken. This is the worst. 
so close. Oh my gosh. Oh good, a gas joining in. Oh my gosh. That's part of it done. I'm going to have to go back to my base and get some more armor. Maybe a fire resistance potion. This is just unbelievable. Okay. Hopefully this should be a bit easier now. We've got these. Although the blazes have gone now. Good, good, good. I'll drink it when I first start getting attacked. Let's continue. Wall's done. Turtle eggs. Done. Middle bitty sort of thing done. Iron golem. Why is he on fire? Did a blaze hit him? No. Okay, this way. Stuff is happening. Stop shooting my golem. Okay, he should be nice and protected now. Portal done. Now to get to the never roof. Lovely. Build a big tower. Lovely. Build a glass platform. Nice. Time for another portal. Killing chamber done. Another portal. Nice. Boom. Space bubble. More towering. More never portals. This, I, I got no idea what's going on to be honest with you. And apparently it's done. I'm on the AFK spot here now. Apparently it takes a while to work. So let's just wait and see. Oh. <gasps> Our first one. Yes. They're coming. And now all I have to do is sit here and kill them. My sword is currently useless. It doesn't have looting free on it. Or sweeping edge. Wow. This is so good. Anyone who's had to farm wither skeletons in the past will know how good this is. Look at them. Look at them coming. I've already got three skulls, and that's without looting free. I'm not even trying to get skulls at the moment. I was just doing this to try and, like, fix my tools up. How many wither skeletons have I killed? 300 already? Oh, my gosh. It's just so easy. I don't think I've even been here for 10 minutes yet. All right, that's probably enough for now. We'll save the coordinates of this, and we need to head home, which might be quite tricky. Oh, wait. Luckily, I can do this. I'm hoping I've done the maths right. This should take me kind of close to my castle that's flying, please. Oh, God. How have I got this so wrong? All right, let's try that again. No! Why am I underground? Let's dig up and see where we end up. Yes, just near the castle. Perfect. All right, this should link up to the roof now. Yes, okay. And I'll leave that there. So what farm next? Well, you'll have to find out shortly as first, I want to add some trees to this area. At the moment, it's looking a bit flat, not many trees. Let's change that. So I got some leaves and I got some wood and then we got building lots of different types of trees, actually just birch and oak trees, but we built them in different shapes and sizes and stuff. Each one unique in their own way and none of them that big, to be honest. They're all kind of small, regular sized trees because obviously this is a small, regular sized person building them. I don't know what I'm saying, but look, they're done. There we go. That's looking a bit nice around here. I'm definitely going to add more in the future, but for now, it just adds a bit of height, you know, especially when you come in from down here. Look at that. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? Like if you just take a screenshot of this little area, it's looking lovely. But that's right, it's time for another farm. And I like building with copper. And to make copper look cool, sometimes you need some honeycomb. So let's make a honeycomb farm. I already have one bee's nest in here, so I hope that this has bees in it. But let's go find some more. Bees, bees, bees. That one has three in it. Normally, I build the farm first, but now I'm gonna build the building first. And of course we need some materials. Fun material gathering montage, anyone? Tough, you get one anyway. Moss blocks, dark oak wood, bricks, granite, spruce, jungle wood, lots of wood, different types of glass, mossy cobblestone, some sand, some squid ink to make some concrete, and finally some lanterns. And now we're ready to build a beehive, except not hive, bee home. Let's just build it. Normally, I like to use a lot of glass and yellow and black on here, but instead, I decided to go for brick and wood. Why? Because I thought it looked kind of cool, and it's a kind of barn thing with lots of bees inside it, but I did add a bee balloon on the top. I went ahead and added some flowers on top of this thing to finish it off. I love my little bee balloon and my little bee house, but at the moment, you can probably see it's looking kind of empty. Well, that's because we need to add the mechanisms in that are going to help us farm this honey. So let's get all the stuff we need for that. It's a lot of hoppers, dispensers, stuff like that. 
I watched quite a few tutorials, but to be honest, none of them really worked for me, so I've just sort of made my own design for this. I've tested it, and it should produce a lot of honey. It's very simple how this works. We put down some dispensers at the back here and do this on both layers. And then we make a buttload of shears and fill the dispensers. Next up, some blocks on top of these dispensers and some observers facing down. And finally, redstone on top. And it's all set up and ready to go. All we need to do is add in the beehives. Now, obviously, we need to breed these bees up. And also, I'm not sure if it works with the bee nests. It needs to be, it might need to be beehives. And in the morning, the bees should come out. Then we can start breeding them up. And this is going to take a while because we have to wait for the bees to make honey for us. But let's go collect some flowers. And hopefully, when I next enter here, you will just see lots and lots and lots of bees and bee nests oh ho ho hello bees there's actually not that many out right now that's sad but every hive is in you can't really see the ones up there but trust me they're up there oh here they all come hello guys i've ran out of flowers to breed them up for now but as you can see it's working well, apart from some idiots keep getting stuck on here. And down below in our chest collection system, ho, 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 lots and lots and lots of honeycomb. And the more, oh gosh, the more bees I breed up, the more honeycomb we'll get. So in the future, when I get some more flowers, we'll get some more bees and that should be perfect. And also, I decorated out here. Look, there's a tree now and a little campfire. And I extended the stream that goes through our house down here a little bit. Haven't decorated that yet. Don't know what we're going to do with it. But nice little area now. Need to not forget about this chest here with some stuff in it though. I really need a storage system, guys. But I can't be bothered to build one. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for. We built four brand new farms. All useful in their own way. This one looks pretty. And of course, that one looks pretty as well. We're now on day 382. I can't remember what we started on. But we've done a lot. Around 14 hours or so played. Crazy. But thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and leave a like and comment. If you've got any ideas for this series, let me know in the comments down below. I shall see you another time. Good. Bye.